ओके फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन एकेडमिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड कॉलेज गवर्नेंस फ्रेंड्स लेट अस ब्रीफली रिव्यू व्हाट वी डिड इन द फर्स्ट सेशन एंड देन गो हेड फ्रॉम देयर फॉर माय सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन दिस टॉपिक फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स व्हिच आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन्ड to you or maybe i will be explaining to you is based on my own experience i am not sharing anything new but only thing is that when you in day to day life as an academic administrator experience certain things sharing with the colleagues will definitely help in their endeavor friends let us let us concentrate on the qualities of an administrator see administration administrator must dream right he may not dream big but dreaming right is extremely important on the other hand he should be very kind compassionate forgiveness patience and personal integrity should be above board friends let me uh, you know relate this with an example that uh, in a popular novel by julius caesar there is a line it says the caesar's wife should be above board so that is an important aspect on the integrity of the administrator friends another important thing which i shared with you is the management of conflict see most of the time as i said that every colleague is important every faculty is important and you are bound to have difference of opinion but managing them coolly talking them out and not creating a situation where we should not talk to each other is not a right approach of a good administrator so conflict management is extremely important then administrator must learn from his experiences from his failures in the past and he should be a master in managing the people another important aspect in a democratic institutions whether it is country educational institution or any other organization the people should be empowered people should be given enough powers in order to execute certain things they should be made independent to do the task and then administrator should guide them and keep a watch that is the job now administrator must enjoy his job it is not that you know always he is complaining that my colleague doesn't do that my ex person is not doing that always complaining to the higher authorities that my people doesn't do that it is not a good reflection on academic administrator i told you earlier also that what for you have been given administration it is your job to manage and to do the justice to the institution again i am saying it is not everybody's cup of tea administrator must think before taking the job that whether he is capable of handling all the situations see again there is another important getting things done from others there should be a niche in the administrator that he should be able to get things from each and every stakeholder in the institution whether it is students employees security guards housekeeping staff or the faculty then administrator must learn to connect with the people very very important another thing which administrator must always look for is that he needs to see that how to raise resources for the institution very very important because most of the time i say in government institution we do not have enough resources in a private also they say we we, we could not raise enough fees this time well this is not going to help we must find out there are several funding options available and innovate like let me give you an example these programs are going on for the last 3 months 
and we have already trained as i told you 30000 teachers and we have raised enough revenue for future use so that is what out of box thinking then institutional rankings are very important whether it is nac nirf qs rankings india today rankings every rank is important for the institution now you can say that it is everybody's job yes it is everybody's job but administrator has to think and get the things done so that rankings are good recently we got a ranking of 61 in 2020 nirf but two places we are losing one one is the research because ours is a management arts college it's not a science institution that is one thing which i can say another important perception because we are a new institution and also we do not know on what parameters ministry is looking for perception because the renowned colleges always get the perception but we are doing much better job and we are not getting the perception so they, they, you have to fight with all these things again let me tell you that job of a administrator is to encourage the faculty to do each and every important task whether it is research whether it is writing in the best journals let us motivate the faculty administrator must motivate through fundings through uh, cash prizes or through any means but they should be highly motivated like i can give you an example one of my faculty came to me that okay uh, i need to file a patent but sir i don't have funds to file it okay i said okay go ahead we will support you so that is what it is encouragement to the faculty another important thing is that idea of the faculty should be encouraged we should get different ideas from them and tell them you should pursue that idea and sometimes even funding is required okay no problem let it be a failure but that should be encouraged another important aspect we should have set up several centers of research and development center for excellence i tell you we have a research and consultancy cell i think i was telling you that we have done consultancy much more than any other institution in the country so this is just a example how you innovate and do the things friends as i have been telling to you that our educational system needs complete revamp the quality and excellence in education need to be improved because of several reasons because we have a very low employability low skills we are not teaching anything which is useful to the industry let me tell you recently i organized one program on research and data analysis for undergraduate students i tell you thousand students participated our our purpose was not to make them researchers but to make them employable to think critically to think analytically to interpret the data that was our job reskilling is also very important now of course in educational institution reskilling uh, you know is not sometimes we feel is important but what i feel this is also our job that if the workers like let us say in this covid 19 situation most of the people are losing jobs because their job is not required in the industry now something else is required so we have to do the reskilling of them it is our responsibility we should reach to them and reskill them only then the employment problem can be solved friends i also told you that we should train our students faculty and all the stakeholder in the recent developments or industry 4.0 whether it is robotics simulation 
the cloud computing, big data analysis, augmented reality, cyber security, 3D printing, internet of things and artificial intelligence. We are setting up a separate center for artificial intelligence in this, in this college and you will see in times to come there will be lot of research on artificial intelligence from our own institution. Friends, another important aspect. Recently, I went to the Central University uh, Udisa in Koraput in, in a tribal area. I delivered a foundation day lecture over there. It is a small university with a large funds and large areas, large buildings. But what is lacking is that vision is lacking, the planning is lacking, the local requirements, what are the local requirements that thinking is lacking. They are also planning to do management courses, uh, the courses which other uh, uh, institutions are uh, you know running, but that is not the way universities should be developed. Universities should have a focus in one or two areas and depending upon the local rec environment, local requirement. That is why central universities were being opened in various areas. The, if we are doing the same thing, then there is no innovation. Now, let us see in, in Koraput, it is a rich in mineral uh, uh, minerals, that area. Then it is a, it's a Naxal affected, a little bit Naxal affected area. So, let us see what are the local requirements, agriculture requirements. So, let us focus our studies innovation in those areas, Cent centers of excellence for geophysics, for, for uh, 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 you know uh, uh, new uh, discoveries in the area of mineral. And also we must concentrate on the job oriented courses in these areas. Then sports. Activities, I see that students has lot of potential in, in that area in, in sports and various activities. Let us explore those and develop them for their uh, basic requirements. As regards quality improvements, the best of the faculty may not be available to them, but in today's technology time video conferencing, video lectures that can be delivered. They, they can, they can uh, uh, you know, uh, put it for faculty, for students, for everyone. They need not hire faculty there uh, because um, sometimes the best faculty is not available. Then another important aspect of a university or a college is that teaching ICT skills to each and every teacher, student, all stakeholders, non-teaching employee, everyone. That is also job of a good academic administrator look into this. And then another important as I said that every institution must see all around what are the requirements of nearby areas, nearby villages, nearby slums and it is the job of educational institution to develop them, to teach them, to to solve their day to day problem, whether it is environment, sanitation, health, everything. And if I tell you this is being done, the country will progress like anything. Government is not needed in order to do all this. Now, you know, basically what I am trying to say is that academic administrator must think out of the box. Also, he should look always for the opportunities. Like, I can give you an example here. You must have heard the name of Khan Academy. See, how did he got the idea to do the teaching of mathematics and various other subjects through online. See, he was in US working for a company. His niece was in some other city and she needed teaching from him in mathematics or in, in uh, various subjects. So, he started thinking how to teach her sitting at his workplace, sitting at it, her, his home. And that is how he got the idea of the platform that how to do teaching sitting at home 
and get into that business of online teaching. Or we can say that today the emphasis of the ministry and the UGC is on blended learning. Can we mix the two online and the classroom? Because let me tell you in next one to two years, you will see very few students in the campus because we have to do some alternative things. We cannot call everybody because of this pandemic. So, more than 60 percent teaching need to be done online and rest in a classroom setup. Friends, another important thing you must look always that there are a lot of online teaching portals, online courses which may be useful to you and your students. I can give you a few examples, Coursera.org. These days they are, they are giving all online courses free of cost. They are based in UK, but very good courses and free of cost. Just use those. Any administrator, whether he is a vice chancellor, principal, head, Dean must keep a connect with the student, very, very important, extremely important. You can say that in a large university like Delhi University, how vice chancellor can connect with the students, well he can if he wants to. He can visit various colleges, visit various departments, talk to the people in the corridor, in the campus to know what is going on, what are the problems of the students, how can we connect with them better. These are very, very important things. Another important aspect for the administrator that he should be able to satisfy each and every group which were managed by him. Group means whether it is students, non-teaching staff or teaching staff, all might have some kind or the other unions. Now, unions are always, always not bad, sometimes they are very productive and a administrator must look for that opportunity that if he can or she can improve certain things relating to the stakeholders, probably things will be much, much better. So, connecting with those people talking to those people is very important. Friends, most of the academic institution always suffer on account of infrastructure funding. We are always short of infrastructure, short of infra, uh, not only infrastructure, short of funds for all the activities. But again, I am telling you, let us try our best and that is the job of the administrator to explore various options and we have done in this institution. Everybody can do it. There are various schemes. You all can go online, can, can, can look into because it is not the time to discuss those. Then every institution must have a plan, academic strategic plan, short term and long term. Maybe for a year, three years, five years, ten years or maybe twenty-five years also. Then holistic solution for all the problems of the stakeholders. I can give you an example. Let us say the staff is entitled, especially lady staff for child care leave. We observed in this institution that what is happening is that at the start of the semester they apply for child care leave and before the finish of the semester they want to again join taking the benefit of all the vacations during the, during that, which is harming the interest of the students. Now, in such cases, must empower the faculty to make rules for themselves. I have done that. You frame the rules and I will follow those. I tell you nobody came with that. So, ultimately we had to stop this and make a fair rules. Yes, you are entitled for the benefit. We have no problem, but 
institution is also entitled to see that its interest is not being harmed, not being uh, taken uh, at the back seat. So, that is also very, very important. Now, again, what is academic administration? Well, let me, let me define, it is a book, uh, you know, uh, definition, integrating the different priorities and responsibilities in your life, work, family, health, fitness, community and personal self development. Your personal purpose, values and vision, life goals and directions, very important for the ac academic administrator, learning how to focus your mental energies and develop the willpower necessary to bring out the changes you want in your behavior and habits. Developing the authentic communication skills, clarity and self-esteem necessary to inspire and empower others. Let me give you an example here. Let us say there is one institution or college I can say is a big institution, maybe having 10,000 students, 300 faculties, every discipline is there. It is a reputed institution, but hardly any teaching, hardly any uh, you know, development work, yes, some research is going on because of the individual, uh, you know, efforts, but no innovation is going on. And it is a highly reputed institution, it is being rated very high by NIRF because, because of its legacy, another in comparison to this, a small institution, newly built, new institution small faculty, small number of students, few disciplines, doing quality jobs, doing lot of innovation, lot of research, quality of students are better, but still rated lower. Now, what to do? Well, friends, we all have to work in that direction. We need not bother ourselves that, okay, how can we be lower than the bigger one? Well, always bigger entity is trying to eat the smaller one. That is the rule of the game, but you must be good enough to sustain in the long run. Well, most of the time the faculty, researchers have the complaint that they are not being allowed to go out for attending conferences, for doing refresher, orientation courses. This is much more with the temporary staff, contractual staff, but the administrator must encourage each and every faculty, whether he is guest teacher, contract teacher, permanent teacher to do the development of their self, academic development. But what we noticed in our institution, that most of the time we are offering programs, outsiders are very interested, but our own faculty is not interested. Our faculty wants to go out to have fun, that should not be allowed, that is not correct. They should contribute in their own institution also, if they want to enjoy outside benefits. Now, Another important aspect here, self-managing, aims of self-managing leadership. Now, there are various points here, I would, you know, they are all from, uh, you know, I have obtained from books or journals, it is not that I am doing something new for you, but I am just putting before you to become a better leader through improved self-esteem self esteem is extremely important to develop a clear focus for the next stage in your life because you have to plan one year three year five year because these days principals and vice chancellors are appointed for five years so plan cannot be beyond that <coughs> take responsibility for your own life and stop blaming others 
or the circumstances like some of us can say that due to COVID we were at home, nothing we can do. But let me tell you this institution has done lot of work during the COVID. So it is all planning, thinking. To make more personal responsibility for your state of mind and emotions. To learn how to improve the quality of your communication and relationships as well as overall quality of life, very important. Now what are the changing roles of academic administrator? Well, traditional leadership is not going to work to control the people. You know, traditional is to put a stick and forget, no that is not going to work. There should be new paradigm of leadership and how to adapt to that style, that is very important. Inner powers necessary to be an effective leader, inner self, thinking, the yoga, the spiritualism, the meditation, the ethical values, happiness can give you those inner powers. Then transformational leadership model, you should first analyze the facts, go insight into it, the purpose should be seen, values before taking any decision, vision, barriers, goals and strategies, action planning and then implementation and monitoring. Like I can give you an example that academic administrator in a college setup must make a system of daily checking and weekly reviews of everything. I am not just talking about the classes, everything which is going on need to be monitored on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, it has to be done. Then Timing is very important because as significance of life cycle similarly timing is always very very important because as the life cycle goes you know always there is there is not up there is not always down. So, so academic administrator must see that when the institution is at up lowest and how to balance it out. So, this is the ability, skill in teamwork, teamwork is very important to come out of these things. Then sometimes people become violent while communicating, a leader must see that he should be non-violent while communicating. Even if the other person is violent, you cannot be violent. Effective listening is very important for a academic leader, very very important, must listen to others. That is the key for academic administration. Now, in the end, I will tell you what are the various things in which academic administration must look into in a college or university setup. This is not new, but I would like to discuss here because so that you can use them in your own institution or you can advise your academic administrator, administrator to use them in their institution. In an academic institution always look into introduction of new courses, programs in emerging areas which I told you where the students are more employable. Revision of syllabus to enhance employability, entrepreneurship, research skills and development which sometimes is not possible in a government institutions. Introduction of CBCS elective courses in the program which are important, which are relevant. Incorporation of gender environment sustainability, human values, professional ethics into curriculum, very important. We have center for ethics and uh, school of happiness in order to take care of all these things. Inclusion of student project in the curriculum, 
very important. We don't have in government institution, but students should be encouraged to do the projects, research projects, data analysis project, which we have done here as a certificate or extra courses. Internationalization of communication, very important, because unless until your curriculum or, uh, uh, you know, is not relevant for the world, your students cannot go outside country. Introduction of innovative teaching techniques. There are various te teaching techniques all you know, but you sh must introduce every day the new one, maybe hands-on training, experiential learning or anything else. You can develop your own. Use of ICT for effective teaching. Teachers quality is very important. They must do research, they must do PhDs, they must publish in Scopus Web of Science journals. Participation of teachers at international conferences, faculty development, externally funded projects must encourage the faculty because you will be known by that only. If you are doing your own job, it is not going to help unless until you are doing the projects of DST, UGC or maybe any other funding agency. Publication, very important and if institution can have its own journal like we have one journal which is in the UGC care list. It is better if you can have your own journal in Scopus and Web of Science journals. Student teacher project, I, I said, uh, you know, student project, but let it be teacher student project and they should publish jointly. Industry academia collaboration, capacity building for consultancy, incubation or startups, very, very important these days. Revenue generation through consultancy, I told you in the beginning. We have generated lot of revenues in last few years through consultancy. Enhancement of library usage, e-journals and books. Development of e-content, we have developed here. You, we have our YouTube journal, go through it. Capability enhancement and development schemes. Career counseling, very, very important. Then if you have international student, you must have a cell for them. Alumni engagement, very important, must engage them meaningfully. Equity promotion schemes, well, what is equity? Equity promotion here does not mean that we are making investment in the equity. What we are trying here is that all equitable stakeholders, their schemes should be important promotion scheme should be important. Then environment sustainability, you must have a solar power, waste management system, rain water harvesting, everything we have in this institution. Then professional ethics, plagiarism, very important, evaluation system and the number of property rights, IPRs, patents your faculty or your institution has filed. So these are the areas a academic administrator, whether vice chancellor or the principal look into this in day to day basis and see if they can improve further in one year, two year, three year, five years or maybe 10 years. Once again, friends, thank you very much for listening. Thank you.